Hey there guys, so I'm going to be upgrading the RAM on my HP Pavilion 15. Now this should work pretty much across all different laptop models that they have that use this specific chassis. It is very universally used by them. So if you have a 15 inch laptop, simply look at the bottom of it and you should be able to recognize it compared to this one. Now a few things to note about upgrading the RAM on this specific laptop and in really any laptop in general. You need to have RAM that is rated for specifically just JDEX speeds, no XMP. There are some laptop kits that are XMP only, and if you try to use them on a laptop that does not support XMP, which is the vast majority of them, you are really just going to run it at the lowest possible JDEX speed. And trust me, you do not want 2133 or 2666 megahertz RAM on any kind of chip like this. So just get yourself some 3200 megahertz JDEX rated RAM. Now the process of actually getting into this chassis is not complicated, but it is annoying. Pretty much there are just two visible screws down here in the bottom. Now you're also going to have to remove those rubber feet at the bottom and get to the two screws underneath each one. Once you've done all that, it's very simple to just pry open the lid and then you're in. A few things to note is how easily accessible all the important bits are. So the RAM is easily upgradable, the SSD is there, the battery is easily accessible, and even the Wi-Fi chip is easily upgradable. And that last bit might be something that you might consider considering it is real tech Wi-Fi. I do prefer just using Intel Wi-Fi chips in general, and it's especially important if you're someone that considers using Linux on their laptop. But the RAM is very easily upgradable. You pretty much just pop out the old sticks and drop in the new ones. Again, you're going to want JDEC rated speed RAM. You don't want anything with XMP. If you have XMP, you're going to run into issues with pretty much most laptops. There are a handful of gaming laptops that actually have XMP enabled, and that's what that XMP RAM is for. But outside of that, you are going to run into problems. But but this 3200 megahertz RAM kit pops in extremely easily. It's super easily accessible. This is a very easily upgradable laptop. Unfortunately, there's no larger capacity battery mod that I found so far. So you're kind of just stuck with this 4100 milliamp hour battery. I also currently don't have a spare SSD to upgrade the one in here. I would love to have put in a one terabyte while I was in here, but I just did not have one available. But that's definitely something that I'm going to consider in the future. Once you're done in there, it's pretty much just a matter of closing it up, putting the screws back in, and trying your best to put the feet back on as best as you can because this was a terrible design. But outside of these just rubber feet hiding the screws, it's a very easily upgradable process. You saw how easy it was to get to the RAM and to get to the SSD, so getting a cheap model of this with low RAM and low capacity can actually save you a lot of money if you're willing to just upgrade it yourself. But once it's all sealed up and we boot up the laptop here, we can see that we actually have the 16 gigabytes running at the 3200 megahertz speed immediately. There's no need to go into the BIOS and enable anything. It's all just immediately working and that's pretty much because it's running at those JDEX speeds. Of course, that does mean that the timings aren't amazing, but there's not really much more you can do outside of that. But Anyways, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys next time.